pay for goods and services is about to change in a big way. we've been moving toward a cashless society for some time now, but a controversial virtual currency called bitcoin is starting to take off and as usually tell lives on reports vancouver businesses and consumers are among the first to embrace this new form of money as a few student michael young gets his coffee every morning but it's how he pays for it that makes him different so the coffee shop's bitcoin address is right there uh, press the set button he's using something called bitcoin and there it is on my side a new digital currency that's becoming increasingly popular with local businesses there's a buzz around bitcoin i think for any company that wants to be innovative and start to take advantage of trends this is one of them Bitcoin is an idea that may revolutionize the way we use money. It's free of government interference and completely decentralized. In the Bitcoin system, it's all the users has, has input on how the system works. So it's more of a democratic way of running money. Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital currency. Anyone can purchase Bitcoins online with their bank account. The Bitcoins are stored in a digital wallet on your computer or smartphone. You can then use them to make purchases online or at stores that accept them. Directly from person to person via the net. For local companies, taking Bitcoin is a cheaper way to do business. There's no merchant fees, unlike the other big names like Visa, MasterCard, and all the other merchant services charge you every single time you run a transaction. This doesn't. Massage therapist Michael Bliss started accepting Bitcoin years ago when it was still very new and so far so good. Every additional form of payment is always helpful, um, but also it's an alternative to sort of uh, mainstream banking, which appeals to us. But Bitcoin has its critics. One of the top concerns is its high volatility. A year ago they were trading at maybe $20 and that has skyrocketed at some point in April uh, of uh, this year to, to over $200 then dropped again to $100, and now it's sort of stayed uh, around $100 uh, for the last little while. U.S. is becoming increasingly concerned over virtual currency. It has also been in the news lately. Electronic money like Earlier this week, U.S. authorities requested a review of Bitcoin and are calling for more regulation. Anything from clothes and cars to illegal drugs and guns. It's become anonymous, and therefore many governments around the world have uh, raised the red flag because they cannot uh, trace transactions. But this business owner is willing to take the risk. It's more of people's perspective and trust towards the currency as that trust increases. And I think by retail outlets taking it and accepting it and becoming more mainstream, the trust will increase as will the value. Yulia Tomazan, Global News.